disassemble your Samsung D807. But why? Perhaps it has a cracked screen like mine. My buddy had one with a good screen, but it was in rough shape physically. Worn out chrome, scratch keypad, missing data port cover, oh, and it doesn't communicate or charge. I wanted the screen only, so I chose to basically disassemble the whole thing. You can use that knowledge to replace any faulty part. Start with an organized workspace, organized workspace, notepad, magnifying lamp, and a couple of boxes to keep the parts separated. Remove the battery cover, the battery, and the SIM card. There are four small screws visible on the rear cover. Remove those. Wiggle and distort the back cover a little at the bottom of the phone until it pulls partly free from the phone. Slide a guitar pick or small flat blade screwdriver between the phone and the rear cover at the side of the phone. Gently wiggle or pry this cover. It will snap free. You'll see the main board now. Remove the two screws holding this board on and carefully fold it back towards the battery area. There's a plug connector for the number pad. Pry that gently off. The main ribbon cable is also visible now. Remove a green tape and metal foil on the socket where the ribbon cable joins the board. The socket has a hinged brown piece closest to where the cable comes in. It flips up to release the cable. Pull the ribbon away from the board gently and use a screwdriver or something else to cut the adhesive between the board and the cable. Now with the board free, you can remove six screws from the plastic backing plate and remove that plate from the slider assembly. One of the screws is hidden by a piece of green tape. On the front half of the phone, there are six small screws on the rear side. That's the camera side. Four are visible. Two are hidden behind rubber plugs at the top of the phone. Separate the chrome trim from the backing plate by starting at the bottom of the phone, near the number pad. It may be stuck from a little day-to-day -day dirt, but separate it there, then swing the bottom end out and release the front cover from the two clips that hold the top end together. You now can separate the ribbon cable from the screen assembly in a similar way as you did with the other end of the cable. The earpiece, camera, keypad are also attached by clamping ribbon cables, so now you know how to swap those two. The camera is glued in place to the plastic cover. Pry it out gently with a screwdriver and hope it doesn't break. Mine worked fine. The number pad has a separate screwed on clamping frame and is then glued to the switch pad, so I hope you don't have to mess with this or the microphone. To access the slider rails, remove two pieces of foam and the screws underneath. A plastic rail socket then comes out. The rail has a shock absorbing rubber gasket at the top and a rubber socket at the bottom. Reassembly is the reverse of disassembly. Be sure to replace the pieces of tape and the wire mesh shield attached to them. They serve to prevent electrical shorts and radio frequency interference between parts of this device and between this device and others. Good luck and happy calls.